guys, it's Cody here, bringing you guys another installment in my Less Depth Weapon Walkthrough series for Black Ops 2. And today we're looking at the first pistol, or slash sidearm, whatever you want to call it, in the series so far, and it's personally my favorite, the TAC-45. Um, I'll go ahead and start by saying this is the very first gameplay I did, uh, look, you know, going for a gameplay. It's the first one, um, and I didn't play COD for like about five days before I played this gameplay, and I absolutely destroyed with this pistol. I went to work. Um, I don't know what I ended up at like 43 and 10 to 17, somewhere in that range. I totally, you know, I played one game, I stopped. I had no warm up, nothing. I just showed this game and it was really funny because they were talking a lot of crap. They're like, use a gun that takes real skill, you quit using the pistol fag. And I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, wait a minute, doesn't using a pistol only have quite a bit of skill? But, anyways, um, uh, it's, I'm going to do one a little bit different. I'm going to talk about the uh, class setup first just so you guys know why I'm succeeding so well with just this pistol. Okay, so, anyways, um, the class setup I had. Obviously, it was a secondary gunfighter, so I had two attachments, and I used the uh, laser sight because this gun, it only takes within close range, uh, pretty much close enough range to use a laser sight, it takes two shots to kill, and I thought that was very beneficial to have, just because there's a couple of situations where you don't want to aim on sights, because if you miss the first shot, you're dead, you know? So spraying is actually somewhat viable with this gun. Even though the clip is limited, I uh, I chose um, uh, fast mags instead of extended mags, just because I feel like um, ten shots, uh, when it takes two shots to kill someone, in close range is probably enough uh, accuracy is more um this, this is a good gun if you're very precise I'll say that if you're not the most uh, precise and most accurate shot oh look, look at this tomahawk I got a really cool tomahawk right here sorry but anyways if you're not the most precise person I definitely recommend using um the um, 57 because it's uh, within the same range or well the, it does have a two shot range as well but the two ra or two shot range is a uh, kind of really really close the tac 45 has a two shot range of a little bit further so it is more powerful this is the most powerful pistol the tac 45 but if you aren't the most accurate the 57 is probably a better choice for you anyways so um, I'll go ahead and start breaking this gun down for you guys um wait a sec I, I, for perk wise um I, the perks uh, can be whatever um, dexterity is probably recommended you know you want to aim on sights faster anything to help you or help benefit you the way you play Anyways, um, so we'll start breaking the gun down for you. This gun, the TAC-45, is obviously a semi-automatic pistol. Um, I believe it's locked fairly early in, uh, you know, your, uh, you know, ranking up. Uh, it's somewhere around 20, I believe. Anyways, um, uh, it's fairly, um, I'm not going to say uh, uncommonly used, but pistols aren't often used in this game, which I don't understand. They, These are probably the best set of pistols we've had in a Call of Duty ever. These things are absolute beasts in every single way you could you can call them that, like, all the two-shot pistols of Call of Duty's past required, you know, I mean, they had ridiculous, uh, you know, um, recoil and whatever. This gun doesn't have it. Anyways, this gun has a, a two, three, and four-shot kill range. Two-shot range. Is, uh, God, I watched Schiffer's episode. It's a, uh, it's a good. It's about shotgun distance. A, a good shotgun distance. Even, you know, I'm only talking like one-shot kill. I'm talking where you even get hit by the shotgun. This gun will two-hit most people. Um, three hits is a ridiculously far range. This gun can honestly snipe people in three hits. And four shot range, there is one, but I honestly doubt. Um, if you're running with a pistol the way I, uh, I am, you're never gonna really get in that range. And if you are, you're gonna duck, and you're not gonna. It's not in your benefit to, you know, stake out any fight that you know isn't within your four shot kill range. But anyways, in this gameplay, I, I really like this one because it shows a lot of situations where this gun just dominates, even SMGs. I, I am honestly a better player, and I'm very very quick and accurate, and I, I'm I'm good with uh close range encounters. Um. This gun will definitely benefit someone who's good at that. Um, you know, if you're someone who has a little bit more uh, problems in close range, I, you know, I, I would recommend like the Cap 40, something more automatic, because uh, I do have a very fast trigger finger. Some people believe I'm modded. Um, one day I'll make a video on how I shoot so fast with a. Uh, I have essentially I, I grip the control when I'm playing with semi-automatic weapons, and it really, really works. I'm very accurate. I'm very fast. But anyways, um, this gun, if you are a steady shot and you are very fast and accurate. Um, you're gonna get a lot of kills very fast. I destroyed these guys with using nothing but a pistol. They were getting so mad and it was so funny. But um, this gun definitely does though have a very very short clip. You will burn through ammo with this gun so fast. Um, I didn't have scavenger at this time. I didn't have it unlocked, but I, I would recommend having scavenger if it's the only gun in your class. Um, it will burn through ammo. I'm not gonna lie about it. I'm not going to fret. I'm not gonna say anything. It's it's slower, but it, with the 10 round capacity in the mag and only a few spare mags. It's not gonna last you long. A couple of moments in this game, I actually, to pick up a spare gun after my ammo, or my gun ran out of ammo. Like I pick up a a blizzing and nasty quick scope. But anyways, um, yeah, scavenger is something I would recommend if you plan to use this gun uh, a lot. I got an orbital with this gun. Uh, my first game going for you know, my first game I used only the gun. I got an orbital. 
Um, so this is a gun you can definitely streak with. It's it's crazy how strong the pistols are in this game. They're like in Call of Duty's past, there's been pistols that literally felt like you're shooting marshmallows at the other guy. This is definitely the case. This gun is powerful, and uh, people can honestly use this as a primary. It's that good. Um, I will stick by that against uh, any other or any other person's word because I very firmly believe that. And the right hand gun is great. As far as pistols go, uh, go not grow, <laughs> not a plant. As far as uh, pistols go. I'm going to go into this rating a little bit early. I would rate this gun in the category of pistols as an A. It is a pure A. Uh, just because um, the only downside it has is a small capacity of the mag, but the strong power of the two-shot kill radius and how large it is, and the fact that this gun is completely good stock, you don't need any attachments. You don't. I have them on just because I'm going, you know, following this class, so why not use some of my pick 10 slots to make this gun a little better? But this gun does not need any um, anything at all, and it will dominate at very or very long ranges um it's definitely a gun that is easy to pick up easy to learn and it's a very good weapon all around the only real downside like i said is the cap or the capacity of the gun now um the way i freeze this gun obviously close range um i, I say that a lot <laughs> with a lot of guns but this is definitely a close range weapon just because you want to you know maximize um your battles like the amount of battles in that two shot kill range you'll tear people apart and it makes this gun very, very good to use in those ranges. But anyways, um, that's gonna conclude this gameplay, guys. If you like this, or you know, and want to see any other content like something like this, please check out my channel. I have tons of, I have a whole series for this. Thank you all for watching. Cody out.